All right, let me know when to hit play on Ultimate Life Hack I am ready. Set for so, Life by Death Skull. Three, two, one, go. Okay, guys, I just found out something really cool. I found the Ultimate Life Hack, the perfect get rich quick scheme. It is, all in all, the how to turn nothing into gold scheme that we have had under our noses for years now. And what is yeah, it? Hurry up. You ask, what can make me set for life? All you have to do is get AIDS. <laughs> Seriously, the Department of Housing and Urban Development is authorized to allocate housing funds to individuals with disabilities. And you know what is classified as a disability under the HUD? AIDS. AIDS. Yeah. Bug, ch <laughs> Bug chasers had it right all along, people. <laughs> You thought they were dumb. You thought they were just suicidal. You thought they were just dumb thrill seekers and sexual fetishists. No. These people were geniuses. And they didn't want the rest of the world to know the secret on how to live free. Seriously. How to live free. How to live free <laughs> of anxiety about getting AIDS, for one. How to live free about anxiety of STDs and how to live free by getting the government to pay for your house with this yeah. simple life hack. Okay. Is that true, Digi? If you what, get AIDS, does the government just pay for your house? What better way to avoid the anxiety about getting AIDS than to get AIDS? <laughs> He's got a great point there. <laughs> that I, I had no idea what he was on about, but his voice sounded great. Yeah. He definitely mixed his audio and shit. Uh, yeah, he knows how to do it. He knows how to do what I can't do. Yeah, what none of us so, can do. So, Dizzy, did he convince you? Are you going to go get AIDS now? Uh, Only if I can find a average-sized Japanese dick to give me AIDS. <laughs> did Japanese people have AIDS? I thought that was more of like a monkey thing. Yeah, it's actually pretty rare. Yeah. All right, let's. Uh, we got a second voicemail here that's on Bandcamp. Yeah, this is from uh, the guy who sent in the... He gave us advice last time about something i don't remember but it's the same guy from band a camp last time i don't know oh, it's the same guy because i remember episode, taking though. a second to load yeah all right you ready yeah uh three two one go hey guys i really like that you're taking voicemails on this show oh yeah this guy it's not every day that i get an opportunity to talk to the people who inspire me so much since watching your videos i gained the confidence to follow my dreams my favorite thing to do is swimming at the beach, looking up at the sky, <laughs> feeling the grains of sand crunch as they yield to the force of our feet, a line in the ocean shimmering like a crown of diamonds. Nerves well up and explode inside of us as we come to a stop. As we sit down, you lean forward, listening to my voice as the words become more solemn and resolute. The beach is beautiful today, but it's not as beautiful as your cool blue eyes. The warmth and security of a firm embrace flourishes from our bodies as we're pulled in close to my chest. We are but grains of sand, yielding to cosmic desire. In your eyes I see the ocean, and on your lips I exchange salty chocolate kisses as we seal the contract of our love by the shore. We can't that, have this guy. We can't have this guy keep calling in because he's vastly more talented than either of us. Was he whispering "Digi Bro" at the end of that? Yeah. <laughs> where's that my voice, Where's my chocolate kisses, you son of a bitch? Why is it all that, for Digi Bro? That guy's voice is incredible. He, yeah, it's I mean, pretty sexy. a lot of it's in the audio mixing, and I know how he's achieving that. But um, his voice is nonetheless great. Yeah, uh, maybe we can have him as a guest on the show. Call us up. Let us know. And he can, uh, I don't know if he was playing guitar or if he, if he's a recording artist. Whoever he is, this guy needs his own podcast, obviously. Even if it was just him, like, reading the phone book or some shit, I'd listen to yeah. that. I'd fall asleep yeah. to that shit with the soft guitar in the background and, like, the digibro whispers over all the what audio. What are the odds he's, like, a professional voice actor who's a fan? Who, who can't reveal his identity because he can't be associated with this Oh, show. yeah, it's Nolan North. That's who it was. <laughs> the, the voice of Deadpool. Oh, God. The Our last few episodes. Segment. Last few episodes, we've had, you know, a, a mysterious guest caller who we dubbed yeah. as Nolan North because of his beautiful, rich voice. And uh, he reached out to us, and it turns out that actually is the real the real anime voice actor and video game actor, Nolan North. Do you believe that? Or, Incredible. Or what? 
It's crazy. I didn't realize we had such high level like celebrities watching our show. Yeah, and you know, it's, it's not like uh, moved. It's, it's not like Hillary Clinton or Bernie Sanders or Kermit the Frog, those typical celebrities. But this those is are like, all political celebrities. Yeah, They're not all, the same. All three you know? of them, all like, those political celebrities. <laughs> It's one thing. It's one thing when you make like you make a reference to Trump, and then of course, all, every everyone's gonna come out of the woodwork because they all gotta have an opinion on Trump. They're all like, "Oh, I'm Kermit the Frog. I ran for Congress, <laughs> and now I gotta talk about fucking Trump." But when you get like a like someone who actually has to like do things, yeah, like politicians, no, no. all they. All politicians do is sit around and talk about politics. All that they're just sitting there waiting for someone to bring up politics so they'll have something to do. You know, right. Nolan North, that guy voice acts in like three hundred games a year. Right. He's you know, someone like that taking time out of their schedule must mean our show is particularly great. Now you're Digi saying. Digi, I'm about to blow your mind. It's humbling. Because Nolan North actually emailed me and said, yeah, that was me. I'm a big fan of the show. I'm a big fan of, you know, Monkey's work. Digibro, not so much. But Monkey, I'm a really big fan of your work. <laughs> and I said, Nolan well, North, that's a shame, you, know, but... <laughs> you know, it's about time this show got some talent. Nolan North, do you want to come on? And he said yes. So did you oh believe God. it or not, you know, I'm gonna, we're going to get him on the line real quick. And we're going to have fucking the real life Nolan North on the show. Beep, Whoa. Boop, beep, ba -da -ba -da -da -da. And... Nolan North, can you hear us? Are you there? Oh, yeah. What's oh up, guys? Oh, my God. It's, it's him. Wow. It's Nolan North. The Man. voice of uh, Uncharted guy and Assassin's Creed guy and uh, the other guys. You're here. Yeah. Incredible. I am so honored to be the first guest on the Insufferable Social Media Argument podcast. Probably the this first and only. This is truly thrilling. You know, yeah. I've had a bunch of roles over the past year and, you know, the just the visceral feeling that I get from this podcast, it just it's it's uncomparable. So I'm really happy to be on. Yeah. Speaking of your roles, I was going to bring up that Digi refuses to watch um, dubbed anime. He only watches it with like the disgusting Jap speak. So Digi doesn't know all of your amazing, you know, anime English roles like for example, Nolan North, you've played Naruto from the show Naruto. You played yeah, Bobobo yeah. in Bobobo. You played Pikachu in wow. Pokemon. So many great roles that I... And, I mean, as a voice actor... And, uh, I didn't even know they yeah. dubbed Pikachu in... Uh, they did. In it was Nolan North. Pokemon. That's you, incredible. You would know if you actually like listen to dub like an American, but yeah. you're just like <laughs> some sort of weeb or something. I'm sorry. It's it's uh, it's part of my job is to be the weebest weeb in the world. Well, I've I've heard you in all those video games, so uh, so I'm familiar with your work. Well, I well, think that's good. I think in the Great spirit voice. of interviewing a voice actor, we should force him to do all the voices that he's famous for doing on on TV. Oh, absolutely. Oh, I, I gotta I hear your I Pikachu. Have yeah, yeah. This. Nolan, uh, Nolan North, give right, us your all Pikachu. Right. So, you want me to start with Pikachu? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Absolutely. Hold on. I gotta I gotta get into it a little. <laughs> Got to do a little. All right, all right. You ready? Yeah. Yeah. Pika P. <laughs> what did, did Pikachu just it's come good, in right? the room? Holy shit! <laughs> oh my god! It's like yeah, it was the most yeah, vivid, right? vivid uh, image right. of a Pikachu I've Hit ever had. Hit me with your Naruto. All right, all right. <clears throat> believe it. <laughs> he did it again. I do believe it. I, I feel believe. the belief. Yeah. It's so hard. I know, right? I, I really do. Yeah. Incredible. Yeah, that, that was a good role in particular. I had a lot of fun with that one. Um, probably my top ten favorites. Uh, I like the the first seasons of Naruto. The the last seasons were kind of eh. It's kind of like yeah. standing around and stuff. But anyway, I always wanted any, to any know others? Naruto's voice actor's opinion on the later seasons <laughs> of Naruto. Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm very passionate about the <laughs> first scenes of Naruto, so the later seasons just like pissed me off so much. Yep. I yeah yeah I won't go into it, but uh, did you ever right. s have, are you are you familiar with Boruto? Have you been aligned any roles in the new series Boruto? Oh, fuck that little faggot! I can't believe <laughs> they had kids. Like that's dumb. Why would you, why would you even like? All right, oh we're gonna all have babies. So let's p pass out another line of toys. Fuck it. I don't care. Now, I Nolan, Nolan North, I'm surprised you need to do an anime podcast. You'd fit right in. <laughs> on, like... Nolan, is it true I'm... that you're trying to get into the music industry? Is that something that's going on? 
Wow. Oh, yeah. I did tell you over the emails. Yeah. yeah. I mean, ever since watching your podcasts, it, it's inspired me because I know you're both like really prominent anime reviewers. Right. And um, yet you do this podcast where you're doing political commentary. And I was like, you know, maybe I should deviate from the norm of what they expect from old Nolan North. I've wanted <laughs> to be a musician since a kid and my dad wouldn't let me. He said now, fucking we- Nolan North. Yeah, we have an example, or we have your a sample of your upcoming Nolan album. North. Did you? We have yeah. a sample of Nolan's yeah, upcoming album true. that I think we should all take a listen to. It's about um, it's about you guys actually. It's oh about shit! You in particular, monkey. Oh cool. And, um, yeah, just about how you inspired me to achieve my dreams, and oh my I, I think you're really gonna like it. Um, so yeah, it's my it's my new hit single. Um, proud to debut it on the ISMA. It is Kisses for Monkey. Okay. Right, well, I guess on the count of three, we'll yeah. give it a listen. I want to hear this. One, two, three, go. Okay. Okay, this is groovy. Definitely sounds like you've practiced a lot. What instrument is this? I that is the guitar. The show with Monkey and DJ. I am autistic and I like to watch girls be Last voicemail I made monkey mad with jealousy So now I made a song called Kisses for Monkey It goes <laughs> This is cultural appropriation <laughs> You got the voice of an angel! It's unbelievable! I okay, hope you liked it. My expert kisses normally spar for girls after pisses. You are so special, my favorite monkey. I can't stop watching. I'm a junkie. Uh, also on your Discord, monkey uh, Steel Viper seventy seven called me gay, and I just wanted to clear that up. I'm not. This isn't gay. What I'm doing. It's totally. It's just like I. It's just like a, a bond. You know that I feel between, between you and you and I. It's uh, so shut the. F- well, well, okay. Uh, uh, I'm gonna just. Truth. I forgot to press play with you guys, so I'm kind of out of the loop here. I'm. I'm gonna say right now. Steel Viper is banned from my Discord. Yeah, fuck you, went you too Steel far. Viper. I, it is not gay. <laughs> fuck you, it Steel Viper. It is not Viper. gay. That's the, that Gosh. should be the hashtag for this episode. Fuck you, Steel Viper. Yeah. <laughs> hashtag Nolan North is not gay. Fucking calling me gay. Get it trending. Oh. So when's the album you. dropping? I need to. I need to know when I can hear more of this. It's dropping in July. I really want to make sure that it's like perfect. Uh, as you can tell, I'm sort of a perfectionist. Um, and you know, like, uh, that sort of synth wave sound, um, even though it's kind of minimalistic, it's hard to pull off, you know? And so yeah. in order to capture, capture that sort of feeling of that other song, I gotta, I gotta like, you know, practice it up a little. So, uh, July, okay. July will be the date. Um, I gotta say, man, I think you're on the right track. I think you're really onto something here. We can be Yeah, I, I could hear that on the Billboard real... Top 100 charts one day. You might be a real Will yeah, Smith, and... man. <laughs> all, like hitting all the, all the different, uh things that people do you want to roll with us into our next segment our our legacy segment on the show as a longtime viewer i'm sure you're well aware since you know it's been going on for in a fucking eternity our uh digibro and monkey jones slow motion suicide yeah you know you know i'm pretty busy but i think i think i'll 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 make some time for you you know about this for you guys just to just to I'll, keep the segment nice and tidy, I'll let you do my suicide for me because I'm I'm kind of running uh, low on suicide methods this week. Uh, all right, man. Uh, if you say so. Uh, brush I, up I on trust it, your judgment in the realm of slow motion suicide. Uh, do you want to go first or should I? All right. Yeah, you know, um, my wife's a fucking bitch. The kids are, you know, getting to that age where they're really becoming a pain in the ass. Um, and I, you know, I want to die before they hit college because then, you know, that's when you know that your daughter's a fucking, like, slut. Right. So what I got Reasonable. here, I got me a full one and a half liters of Fuego. <laughs> some, it's some nice local red wine from Northern California. It's got a nice velvety taste. 
um, a nice smooth finish that warms your soul. And it's just, uh, you know, it's pretty nice. I got it for like two ninety nine at the bargain market, and it's very, very good stuff for the price. Sounds delicious. Oh you yeah. Probably, you could probably mix that with like just a pinch of bleach. <laughs> Be right on, right on the fast track. But then it might taste too you know, good. That's a good idea. Well, I'll tell you. I'll tell you. I, I discovered a whole new suicide method this week. Do tell um, that I did didn't even know it was possible. See, people are always telling me that I was killing myself by cooping up in my room and drinking all day. But I found out that you can die even faster by going outside. Oh, shit. I, I went out today. Oh. It was 92 degrees outside. Oh, my God. Why? I didn't, I didn't know that, it, that, it, that there's this thing called the sun, and it beats down on you, and it drains all the liquid out of your body and mm. burns your skin to a crisp. It's insane. Shit. It's really intense. Damn. So I was out there walking around, and I just felt myself, like, dying. And I was like, what is this? This is excellent. I'm walking around. <laughs> my skin's all, like, a skin on my legs is chafing from walking. Like, all it's all crumbling off. Like, my whole body was falling apart. My face is all melted and shit. And I was like, what is this This magnificent? So I did some research. Okay. Turns out, humans are supposed to be pack animals. Huh. So apparently, we used to have packs on our back where we would store liquid, which allowed us to live out in the sun. Oh, that's what you meant by pack. Oh. I thought you meant we're supposed to yeah. have friends. <laughs> No, 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 no. Pack animals as in uh, having a pack, like 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 a like a camel. Uh, yeah, that makes like sense. A six pack. Yeah, right. Yeah, I think that's what pack, pack animals means, right? Yeah. Anyway, we used to have we used to have packs on our back, but as time went on, we thought it was inconvenient to have the pack attached to our back. So we developed an invention called the backpack. And over years of evolution, after having created the backpack, we slowly lost our packs that were on our back and then started carrying backpacks. But then because we saw backpacks as optional and we were living indoors more and more, we started not really carrying them around because we're only outside for a couple hours a day. You don't need to have the backpack at all times. So I figure if you go out with no backpack and just stay outside for a while, eventually you'll dehydrate and melt up in the sun and burn to a crisp and die. So... I'm going to steadily, you know, wean myself onto the outside and see if I can't uh, get my uh, get my burn going. You know, I had so little respect for you coming in to this podcast <laughs> uh, that, you know, when Me you say too. that, like you're so dedicated to the concept of suicide that you would actually leave your room. That's, you know, you've got some points with me. Nolan North, smiling down on you, Digi. <laughs> Thank I really you, appreciate it. Really, it really means something coming from such a beloved voice actor you know, whose roles I cannot name. I didn't have a, a suicide method, but I just thought of one based on your story, did you, bro? And that oh. that is my daily contribution. I mean, typically, we talk about something that we are already doing to kill ourselves rather than an well, idea. Well, this is one but... that I didn't even remember that I was doing. Okay. But it's my daily contribution to global warming. Oh. Every day I'm outside burning my trash because I, I don't want to throw that shit away because maybe like homeless people will get into it and you don't want that. So I just burn my trash every day and that contributes to global warming, which makes it hotter, which makes it more miserable to be outside. So I guess I'm accidentally committing suicide. It kind of goes against the definition. You were such a, didn't realize you were such a humanitarian that you'd take the rest of us out with you. Yeah. That's real kind of I'm you. Tr I'm trying to save yeah. the world from being alive. Yeah. Because the um, thing is, right. planet Earth wants to commit a slow motion suicide as well, but it can't. So us humans have to help out. Yeah, got to do our part. That's right. You know, now that you've had this humanitarian aspect, I I respect you more and I respect Digi less. Just because that idea was so much better. That's always um, my goal. Yeah. <laughs> now, Nolan. Uh, I'm going to... Yeah. Thank you so much for coming on the show. If, if there's anything else you want to, you know, plug or say, that'd be great. But we don't want to take uh, yeah. up too much of your time. F follow my new band on Bandcamp. Email me at one deathskull one at protonmail dot com, and um, find. Mail. 
Yeah, find me at that? it. Fuck you. Um, <laughs> find me on uh, find me on Discord. Uh, one Death Skull One. Um, I'm gonna have to excuse myself. My wife's being a cunt. I'm gonna have to go oh, do shit. something about it. Um, I love you both. Love what you do. Have a good rest of the night. Hey, hopefully we do because we have a whole bonus episode to record, and we're already off to yeah. a <laughs> drunken start. <laughs> You know what's funny, did you? I've never heard anybody plug their email address before. <laughs> Me neither. What the hell is that, like, fucking deep web email that he has? <laughs> That's incredible. Nolan North, man, I love you. Thanks for coming on. I, I guess if you're in the industry, you know, you need people. Um, it's the only way you can get work is get his email out there. You think most people would have his Nolan North's email <laughs> No. Oh, Speaking you? of things written by other people, we got some comments on the last episode, Digi. Oh. Because we had a super special guest, uh, Nolan North, the famous yeah, voice Nolan actor North. came in. What a fucking impressive... Sub- That's probably why we've got more views than Maddox. we got better guests. <laughs> For sure. He's he got, doesn't like, have some, voice actors. He brings in like weird YouTubers who nobody's heard of and like yeah. people he found off the street in LA. we got fucking Nolan North. So and suck my some dick, people, Maddox. Digi, believe it or not, in the comments, they were suspicious as to whether or not it was actually Nolan North. We've got Dr. Lowell's who says, I know I'm probably getting memed on, but was that actually <laughs> Nolan North? Sounds like him, but I don't know. <laughs> of course it was fucking Nolan North, dude. Would we, we wouldn't make that lie up. To you? When on. have we ever lied on this podcast once? Never. This is like the most honest podcast that's ever happened. Yeah, it's... Well, only facts on the Insufferable Social Media Argument podcast. Nolan North is a huge fan of the show. He's like, you know what? Um, I'm done doing Naruto voices today. I'm going to go sit back, relax, and watch my favorite Naruto? show. He played Naruto, dude. We found that out in the last oh, episode. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. <laughs> you fucking idiot. Oh, yeah, you're he really not Pikachu. a fan. That was great. Yeah, well, you know. <laughs> yeah, he's Pikachu, too. Yeah. That's the one I remembered the most. <laughs> Old friend Nola North called in again. Yeah, Nola North. He's the man. only he... guest we've ever had. Yeah, the only guest on the show so far. Aren't we supposed to have a, a, a knife boy on here sometime? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, Rusty Cage. We'll get him soon. Yeah. We can probably yeah. get him next time. Yeah. If, if, right. I'm, if I'm available next time, because I'll be in Portland. So. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> Actually, <laughs> yeah, I'll be in Portland. Maybe we can record it early, because we should have had bonus episode three by now. I, I need that 60 I, bucks. I might be able to do it uh, in Portland, so... Okay. Sure. Uh, ready for this voicemail? Yeah, three, Okay, here's two, Nolan North. One, go. Hey, guys. I have a confession to make. You know, I've been a huge fan of the ISMA since the very beginning, but I have to admit to you guys, I haven't been completely honest. So... I'll just come out and say it. I lied. What? I'm not Nolan North. What the fuck? I'm actually his evil twin brother, <laughs> Nolan South. <laughs> Nolan South. I lied about being in Naruto. I was in Naru from. I lied about being in Pokemon. I was in Pokemon. And I lied about being in Uncharted. I was actually in Charted. <laughs> And I know that this may come as a shock to you and your viewers. And I know what I did wasn't right. But I'm prepared to do what it takes to make it right. And for that, I'll need some help from your beautiful, loyal, trusting viewers. You gotta smash that like button, everyone. Call out for Nolan North in the comments. Hashtag Nolan North. Hashtag really ISMA. Hashtag song. One Deskal One Loves You. Let your Whoa. voices be heard. The only way to unite the eight directionary Whoa. Nolans eight directionary and bring Nolan. deep voices to all the throats of mankind <laughs> is for everybody to channel their energy into social media and have faith that Mumkey and Digi will be the beacons of hope that will lead the directional Nolans to shore. Everyone, raise your hands. Subscribe to One Death Skull One for premium content. Everyone, have faith in the power of social media and in the ISMA. With your support, with your good grace, and with your love, we will surely bring Nolan North onto the ISMA. The future is in your hands. Wow. Holy shit. Nolan South, 
I'm, I'm, <laughs> you know, I, I would be upset that you betrayed us, but goddamn, man, you've done so much for this show, and that was the best fucking voicemail we've ever gotten. <laughs> Has anybody ever done a cappella of a Naruto instrumental <laughs> song before? <laughs> is That's that the fucking same? crazy. I don't know the Naruto soundtrack, but is it the same song I used at the end of me and Best Guy Ever's workout training video? I, I don't... I'll have, to, I'll have to go look at it. I don't think so, though. Okay, because I just typed sad Naruto music into YouTube, <laughs> and that's how I found that song. Maybe. I don't remember. Oh, man. The eight directional dolls. <laughs> well, shit. I guess uh, we do have to, we have yeah, to push to get the actual Nolan, Nolan North. North. Hashtag ISMA. <laughs> Everybody tweet this podcast to the actual Nolan North. We got to get him on here. <laughs> Oh, God. And one more thing before we go. <laughs> no one knows it's going to get us arrested for any <laughs> <laughs> that was Okay, uh, speaking of Nolan South, we have one final voicemail. I, I think it might be from one of his brothers. I'm not sure. James Jameson. No, that's me. Don't say that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> all right. So one of Nolan South's brothers called. Yeah. All right. All right. The count of three. One, two, three, go. Oh my god! Nolan South? My long lost brother? It's me, Nolan West! One of the 8 directionary Nolans! That douchebag brother, Nolan North! I keep messaging him on Twitter, but he won't respond. I guess oh, the no. fame got to his head. At first I thought it was you, but turns out you are a blessing in disguise. I loved you in Pokemon. Uncharted was a really good game. I'm doing quite well myself, actually. <laughs> My role in Boku no Pico was a huge success. <laughs> you know, the little kid? Pico? The eight directionary Nolans are finally reuniting. Thanks to your heroic efforts, Oni-chan. I hope that someday I can finally meet all of my Nolan brothers. Digi, Mumkey, we're kinda using your platform just to contact each other, but thanks to your social media arguments, the podcast, the eight directionary Nolans can finally reunite. So fellow viewers, Subscribe to Mumkey Jones, give hey. Digi money at patreon.com slash bandsane, and smash Come that on. like button so it's this show can reach all of the long lost directionary Nolans scattered across the world. Yeah, we gotta collect them all, dude. What do you think? Because I'm not sure you, if that did you was... Not, did you I'm not, not sure catch if... that he said send Digi money at patreon.com slash bandsane? Oh. oh, did he say that? <laughs> yeah. I was gonna say, I'm, I'm not sure if that's... If that was plagiarism or not, like, was that actually him? Because he, I thought all the, the Nolan brothers sounded alike. He sounded a little different. I, I didn't catch that detail if that's supposed to be the case, but... I don't know. Maybe we'll have to have Nolan South call in and confirm if that yeah. was actually Nolan West. Yeah, not that Nolan South is necessarily the most trustworthy source on this, considering that he duped us for, like, weeks into yeah, thinking he was Nolan Yeah, that North. son of a bitch, he just, he fucking, <laughs> he conned us yeah, pretty he, hard. Yeah, he got us with that sob story, he got us on his side, but, you know, <laughs> uh, take a step back, maybe don't trust him completely just yet. Yeah. yeah. Well, hey, yeah, if, if any of you other eight-directional Nolans has anything to say, we're trying to find all of you, evidently. Yeah. you got to catch them all. Only on the Isma podcast. Now, did you last week we got a voicemail from, I think it was, like, Nolan West or something, and I, yeah, I was suspicious of it. I thought maybe it might have been a fake, but this week we got a lot more voicemails from a lot more Nolans, so I all guess right. let me know when you're ready for this next one. All right. <sighs> One, two, three, go. Hello, Mupkin and Digibro. This is Nolan Northeast, oh. and i just like the to obscure thank directions. you for featuring my brothers, Nolan South and Nolan West, on your podcast. Thanks to you doing that, I've been able to triangulate their positions, and I can finally begin my master plan. I can now begin to consume all of the eight directional oh, Nolan brothers. And I can finally achieve our true form. Nolan Omnidirectional. Well, I think we might have an evil Nolan in our midst. Yeah, I don't know what to think of it, because I assumed all of the Nolans, like the first two, like Nolan North and Nolan South, they would all have voices West. that don't sound autistic. Yeah. The last couple ones. Maybe maybe Nolan 
Northeast just is autistic, and that's why he thinks that he can combine with all the others. Like, I doubt, highly doubt he can actually do that. That doesn't sound like a thing. So I, I have no idea, but we got another Nolan brother coming in next, oh, so right. let's, let's see what let's, he has to say. Yeah, let's see if he knows anything about this. All right, one, two, three, go. Hey. <laughs> hey, monkey. Hey, uh, yeah. This sounds like Nolan North to me. And yeah. Nolan Southeast here. Um, <laughs> it, it may sound like I'm in a cave or maybe in a construction It sounds like you're in It just sounds like you're next to a fan, I dude. Am. And I'm calling in from somewhere in the Southeast. And I just wanted to say... Oh, Jesus. What the fuck? Every Nolan has a different story, except Nolan. Um, this is worse than weird Matthew McConaughey. Southwest, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking okay. awful. Was he trying to imply that he was <laughs> that he was trapped in a mine because he's from the southeast, so he's from South America? So he's trapped in a fucking mine. Is that what he was trying to get at there? I have no idea what all these potential imposters were implying, Digi, because the actual Nol Nolan's... One of the... List, all I know is that the next voicemail tries to clear some of this up. Okay, let me okay. know when you're ready. Hey everyone, it's me, Nolan West. The real Nolan West, not the goddamn fake Nolan West. I wasn't going to come on your show, but See, when I, I told heard you. that some Mexican tried to steal my identity, I had to come on, make things right. And to do that, I guess I'll <laughs> just start with a question. voicemail? <laughs> What kind of goddamn lame-brained idea was it to try and steal my shit? That's my fucking thing, dude. I am Nolan West. The fact that you think you can come on here with your shitty accent and try to impersonate West the best? Motherfucker, you're dumb, dude. That was a dumb move, man. And you're gonna fucking pay for it. You're fucking dead, dude. Your career is over. I'm gonna put you in the fucking ground, man. I'm gonna sacrifice you on the goddamn altar so that everyone can see your spread entrails across the marble and everyone's gonna know not to fuck with Nolan West, all right? You got that, fucker? Oh, you thought you were gonna be so funny with the, oh, I'm just gonna, uh, I mean, I'm the joke. I'm gonna impersonate Nolan West. No, no, you fuck. Don't you ever fucking think that you can amount to what this I have amounted to minutes. in my life. Yeah. Boku no Pico? Ha! You don't even know. You don't even know the fucking history of what Nolan West has been through. All right, fucker. So while you thought it was really, really funny to, like, come on saying, saying shit, saying whatever. Oh, I'm so funny. No. No, that's not funny, asshole. You fucking stole my identity. That's a fucking crime. You should be in prison. But instead, I'm letting you off with just a minor punishment. Let me tell you, I, <laughs> I've called the police. All right, fucker? I know where you live. All right? So... All right, monkey, we're at an hour, so, uh... <laughs> you want to stop it? Yeah, I already did. <laughs> you want to stop the official Nolan West from his I, great message? Is this the official Nolan West? Do we really know? Like well, my my hypothesis is that all of the Nolans sound alike, and this sounds like the first two, or I guess the first I, one. Why would they all sound alike? I mean, Nolan South didn't even really sound like Nolan North. In fact, he sounds exactly like H. John Benjamin, which is kind of a weird coincidence. <laughs> But, maybe. Uh, you know, so I, I feel like maybe Nolan West here, I mean, why wouldn't Nolan West be Mexican? That's West. No, Mexico is South, I thought. It's, yeah, it's on the West side of the fucking world, though. Yeah, that's true. Hey, I, I guess I'll, I'll play the rest of his voicemail at the end of the show if anybody wanted to hear it, but I don't know. What what do you guys think? Are these, like, which Nolans are the real ones? We've got all these weird Nolan impersonate, impersonators. I don't know what to make of it. I, I had, you know, I have ex expectations for what Nolan West will be like. I, I think, 
I've heard Nolan West talk before, and neither of these Nolan Wests has really sounded like the <laughs> Nolan West that I remember. So, you know, I'll, I'll hold out until I hear a Nolan West that reminds me of the Nolan West that I Will I've the met. real Nolan West please yeah. stand up is what you're yeah, trying to say. Exactly. Don't, don't think that I haven't taken some mercy on you. You should be groveling at my feet, buddy. You should be kissing my toes, all right? Just because I haven't flayed you yet. And you know what? If you don't call in next time with an apology, I'm going to fucking find you, and I'm going to make sure that you're never seen again. All right, now that that's taken care of, let's get down to business, huh? You guys want Nolan North on the show, right? It's not going to be easy. There's only one way to get Nolan North to appear at will, and that's to power the Nolan Compass. To power the Nolan Compass, you'll have to endure the directional Nolan argument challenges. It's like a social media argument, but the loser will have to endure a punishment so that his loose will be siphoned into the compass. Once you've completed the challenges, the compass will regain its etheric magnetism and bring Nolan North to whatever location you want. Here's today's DNA challenge. What is the lowest, most pathetic, scumbag type of person? In other words, what's the worst type of person? Loser of the argument has to talk in a cutesy baby voice throughout all the next podcast. Digi, now I don't think you noticed this because <laughs> last week our, our good friend, our, our big fan of the show, Nolan South, left a three minute uh, incoherent rambling voicemail that for yeah. some reason you thought needed to be cut off halfway through. Do you remember this? <laughs> yeah, for some reason. Yeah. Don't know why. I thought it was a perfectly good voicemail. Yeah. But as it turns out, and I played this at the end of the episode in case anybody wanted to hear it, at the uh, end of his voicemail, he issued a challenge for us, Digi. Do you, do you know about this? No. So here's the challenge. He gave us a question that we should debate. And it's somehow tied into combining the fucking eight directionary Nolans. I don't know. All I know is he said we should debate this and whoever loses should be punished next episode by doing an, in, by doing an entire segment talking in baby talk like a baby. Do you accept this challenge, Digi? I would do that anyways. Well, don't tell him that, because <laughs> it's not a punishment if you want to do it. Well, All uh, right, here's the debate, Nolan. Did you, we have uh, a bunch of important voicemails to go right. to this week. Let's jump in. Should we start with the, the fucking Nolan one? We need to jump rip, in rip to the Nolan off. one. All right, so we've got a call. We, we've been screening all the Nolan calls. People were calling in constantly, and then we finally heard one voicemail from a Nolan who we figured, okay, this guy clearly is the real one, and he knows what's going on. And uh, Yeah. So uh, do, you, do you have this loaded up and ready? Yeah, I'm ready. All right. Uh, on the count of three, we hit play. One, two, three, go. Hey, yo, this is Nolan West. I'm going to let you finish, but Nolan North, the greatest direction of Nolan of all time. Of all time. Now, that's why I, I ate him. I ate him and I took his skin. And now I'm wearing <laughs> the skin. I'm the real Nolan. I'm going to kill all the directional Nolans. In fact, I already did. They're all dead. Oh, that's shit. That's right. This narrative's over. This is the end of the narrative. I ate all the Nolans. I'm Nolan West. Nolan West is Kanye West. Kanye West ate all the directional Nolans. He's the only one left. So, you know, that's the, that's the, you know, it's Kanye. That, that's who it is now. Thanks for watching. Oh, shit. That was Kanye go. West. Yeah. I thought it was the, the high drunk lady that I met at Walmart. It sounded like her. No, no, no. Kanye West uh, is, was originally Nolan West. He changed his name. Because he's yeah. on the run and he ate all the other Nolans. That's the story. So that's how it ends. They were yeah. they were trying. We had to like solve puzzles and riddles so that they could all unite and find each other for some grand omnidirectional Nolan. But yeah. Kanye West just ate them and now they're all dead. Yeah, it all ended with the joke I thought of <laughs> immediately after the original voicemail, and I can't believe no one beat me to. Hey. <laughs> Well, hey, <laughs> now that mess is behind us. We don't have to worry about that yep. anymore. Uh, yep. And uh, if you if you think, oh, oh, they think it's over, but the real Nolan's going to call in and, and uh, no. reveal. Yeah, uh, let's see if you get played on the show with that yeah, idea. Yeah, we but. will be screening these voicemails. <laughs> and unless you're the original Nolan South and you want to guest star again or something, you're not getting on this show with that bullshit <laughs> yeah. anymore. All right, let's.